gonna be a beautiful day. Anyway, got a bunch of spot footings to dig here. At least that's what we've been digging. Pretty good job. Um, I've been kind of hopscotch. I'll dig on this job for a while and then go dig somewhere else. Uh, it gets... It can get kind of hard to keep up. But we're doing alright. I'll grab this 18 inch bucket. We've been digging a few 18 inch footings. guys have been digging some of their own stuff so I'm not doing all of it anyway so we'll go figure out what they got laid out and ready to dig Sky. We'll see how that changes too. <laughs> anyway, just doing the backup thing. Uh, I did a time lapse this morning on Highway 105, and I hit another deer on Highway 105 a couple days ago. Actually, it's last Friday. This is Tuesday. So, didn't do a lot of damage. Bent the bumper. Um, lucky it didn't do more damage. Real lucky. narrow as you can tell it's really hilly um, there's not a lot of margin on the sides or margin there's not a there's not a shoulder at all really they're just kind of steep drop offs so looks like these guys are digging Which is fine. It's all got to get done. Anyway. So back to the... Back to the story about the deer. The, deer, the, the little deer ran across the road fast as he could. He almost made it. He hit the right side of the bumper. He came from the left side. But it was just a flash of brown. I didn't even really see him. There was no chance to hit the brakes. There was no... <laughs> I, just, I just had to hit him. And that unfortunate but anyway it happens this time of year you know it's weather's changing the deer start to move around a lot so anyway so this guy's been digging over here I 
chimneys is supposed to be 18 inches wide, but they probably don't have an 18 inch bucket, so they're digging them two foot wide. Anyway, it's probably not that big a deal. Uh, these footings don't pour all the way to the top, so the top edge is not as critical. I got some digging done yesterday, looks like. I apologize for the camera view and the sun and the dirty window. But this is a low budget production here, so You'll have to bear with me. I think that's a little case 35 or something. It ain't very big. This side of the building is digging a lot easier than the other side. The other side was not, there wasn't any field over there. It was all cut. And I mean to tell you, there, there were some places over there that was just flat out hard digging. About all, it was about all I could do with a 30, 30 inch bucket to get a hole in the ground in some places. But I haven't recorded everything I did out here, but it's all pretty much the same stuff. It's just repeating over and over and over. We did, uh, I'll probably put a time lapse up here of some, some pipes we had to dig around. They were in the middle of a footing. And I broke a few pipes. But there was, you know, it's <laughs> one of them deals. When the electrician gets in there before you, you got to get a footing in there. You got to get the pipes in there. You got to, you got to figure out how to get both working. There's going to be some. There will be casualties on those types of situations. But anyway, I use the uh, rock ripper I got. I got to talking to my dad about that rock ripper and he said that he didn't have a build. He said there was a, one of the contractors he worked for, the first one I ever worked for was Stoltz-Stotts was the name of the company, but one of their, one of their job superintendents gave that to my dad and they were on a job probably digging some hard rock. He said he didn't really know where he came up with it, but he just gave it to him. So. Maybe he traded it out of some, I don't know. But, but that's where it came from. So, it worked pretty good for picking out the dirt in between the pipes. The bucket coupler is just awesome because I can switch between a rock ripper and a, and a bucket in the back. And just a matter of seconds, you have it changed. Um, saved these guys a lot of shovel work. I mean, there was still shovel work to be done, but it was not near as bad as it could have been. Anyway, you can see this job also has geo piers, so we got gravel. Uh, some pretty dusty old sand. This is my first footing for the day, I couldn't remember. Anyway, there's a big 627G. I sent a picture of one of them to Jeff Anderson, or a couple of them actually. 
that's some neat scrapers out here. He said, they make scrapers, some them, what do you say, hunks of plastic made out of Hyundai fenders. Plastic? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> they were using those pretty heavy to do a push pull when I first started out here. Kind of fun to watch them, but man, I tell you what, I, I don't think I'd ever want to run a scraper. Them things. That one ain't running very fast right now, but he's just getting warmed up. They, they get beat to death right in front of them, them operators. Anyway, what we're up to today, this week, on the Digging OK Show, I guess. I haven't been doing a lot of backhoe videos, and I probably need to be doing more of them. I haven't been doing any videos of any kind, actually, but... Sometimes I just take a break from it. Sometimes I just talk. Um, when you're doing something that's a hobby, you ought to enjoy it. And I'm in the middle of rebuilding the automatic transmission son's pickup it's an e 40 so I kind of got that going on I haven't been filming that uh, so one of the main reasons is I'm watching a YouTube video on how to do it a 16 part series uh, put out by the transmission bench a guy named Jimmy does the videos He's an excellent teacher. He, he lays it out where a, a fifth grader could do it, I think, or maybe a second grader, I don't know. But I like the way he teaches. I like the way that he explains things. Anyway. Go check these videos out if you want to learn how to rebuild a D4 OD or a, I think he's got some on uh, Chevy, some Chevy transmissions, Ford transmissions, the AOD, the E4 OD, the R, the 4R70 or something like that. That's the newer E4 OD version. Anyway, the guy does a good job. I bought my parts from him. I'm trying to uh, not only save a little money, but learn something new. I haven't done any automatic transmissions. They're intimidating, but the way this guy describes it and explains it, like I say, it just makes, makes it easy. Anyway, I'm going to try, probably turn the camera off because of the glare in your eyes and the dirt on the windshield. I may open the window up here and get a little fresh air. It's pretty cool this morning. Not too windy and dusty yet.
I guess I got to file an accident report with Anderson Construction Southern Plains Division. Um, as you can see, Roxy's finding the remnants of the deer that hit my bumper this morning on my way to work. It's just just a little bit bent, not, not too bad. Anyway, we got deer guts and deer remains. Roxy will show you where they're at. Anyway, I'll probably get fired. Frank Cunningham, Frank Cunningham, please report to HR immediately. Frank Cunningham.